So that is my 2014 Camaro 2SS. And what I'm about to do is I'm about to do a Starlet headliner and add a lot of sound deadening everywhere. Just while I have the headliner out, might as well get some sound stuff everywhere. So first thing we got to do actually, so not very lit, but we got to take these seats out so I can drop the headliner down and hopefully get it out. A lot of people, as I've been reading on the forums and stuff, say it's impossible to get the headliner out of the car unless you take the windshield out. But I'm going to try with the seats out. And hopefully through the door opening I can probably maneuver it. We'll see. We'll see how we get. Um, first I'm going to take the two seats out and then we'll go for so What you need is a T50 to get out. So the front seats have this like J hook and that hook goes right into these grooves. It goes in. So when you take the back two bolts out it slides out that way. That way up and it's out. So what I'm doing now is taking a look at the entire headliner and all the fittings in every area to see if, just to make sure everything goes back to stock. But I noticed that there's a little burn mark or something right there. Never seen that before. And areas like this, it's hard to see, but this isn't lined up with this right. So, you know, if that happens to me, I'll know that that's how it is. So the first thing I'm going to do now is take these visors out with two screws and then probably that A pillar that pillar that visor i'm gonna leave this seat in here for now because it's crammed on that side to try to get it out so i'm gonna see if i can do it without first i'm gonna pop the headrest out though so both of the visors are gone now these hooks in the back you pop the little cover off and there's an eight millimeter back there already removed the one on this side here it's a little when you take the bolt out a little clip to pull it out and i put everything in here so that's what that looks like and these are just two clips you put the little tool in there okay i got the other one out it's easier if we go like this and you slowly pull it out you'll feel it come boom so up next is this sunroof seal you pull it out all the way around the perimeter but see how it starts here i don't know what the hell this is the dirt or whatever it starts here and i gotta remember that it starts right here which is Almost in the center of that. I have to remember that when I reinstall it because of the curves and everything or else it won't sit right. Quick update, I removed this panel which is relatively easy. It pops straight out and then pulls back. I started pulling this down. I don't know what the hell that is. I've never seen that before. Anyways, you pull this down a little bit and then we're gonna work on getting the A pillar out, sorry. And then do the same thing on that side. Okay, so now we go on to removing these back seats because you got to get the rear deck lid out to get those out to get those out so these rear seats are just two clips on the bottom so they come up and then you pull them out like that there's just two hooks underneath I'll go ahead and do that and then actually see if I can pop this one up right now there that's been popped up now and then just got to do the other side and then take it out these are the little hook things that come out so once you pop that out, you have to actually pull the seat this way because these uh, seatbelt buckles hold it in. Check this out, look at all this garbage and dirt underneath. So if you got an air freshener, the previous owner left his headphones in here, it looks like. That's nasty. Just the typical kind of stuff you find. What is this? Some plastic and a paper bag. Nasty. So I've got the seat folded down here. And right here, there's these tabs that you push away. Then you have to maneuver the seat out of this pin. So same on the side, push that, push this back, pull that out, and then the same thing on uh, on this side here. Real quick, it's very hard to get these out on your own. So when you pull this tab back, it's actually squared off. So you gotta make sure you get it lined up with that groove. So you rotate the seat up a little bit, get it lined up with that groove, and then you can slide it out, but so after I got that seat out, I now removed this panel. Just a bunch of clips pops right out. And then I unbolted the seat belt. Uh, that thing right there. It's another T50 up there. Unbolt that. And now I'm gonna try to pop this panel out, see how this gets removed so I can get to that. I'm gonna try doing it without removing that much, but we'll see, I might have to. Um, also, damn. I'm gonna add a lot of insulation here because it's 
hella bare metal all over. Okay, I got an update. I removed that side's panel off by removing the door sill and then I was able to pop that right out. And on this side, I'm gonna try not removing the deck because all I need is a headliner, right? That's all I need. So I was able to first pop this piece loose. It's very, very like um, held in there really tight with the, one of those little push clips. So it takes a little bit of force to get that off. Then you can pop this out. And now the headliner is perfectly loose. So the same thing on that side, I'm gonna pop that out. Then this can get knocked loose. But under here, there is a seven millimeter little nut. Here, let me see if I can get this off. I forgot which way it is. I believe it's this side. There you go, cut that, boom. Seven millimeter, take that out. Boom, T50, take that out as well. You pop this out, it's just held on in the, with some clips, sorry. Just held on some clips, so you're gonna pull the front down first and then it should slide right out. It's a little bit painful, but then you have two Phillips head screws where they are. One's there, one's there, pop those out, then this should come off. These little clips we're gonna have to remove, this one, and looks like there's one right here. Take those out and then we can remove that. Okay, real quick recap. So we pop the door sills up. We pop the A pillars down, then we pop this panel off, then we pop that panel loose, then this comes off. Same thing on the other side, of course. So I did not remove the rear decking. Uh, I don't think I need to. Then we remove this little piece of trim, then the coat hooks, then those push clips, the visor ones, and then the console, the center console thing. Now there's two Phillips screws left, one here, one there, and I think the headliner is ready to come out. Obviously just the door trims are gonna be holding it up on that side and on this side, but other than that, I think she's pretty, pretty loose. So uh, let's see. So as you can see, I've got most of the headliner dropped down. That's just hanging at the top. When I was looking at, let's see if we can get in here. Okay. I have uh, never seen this before. The wiring loom is actually glued to the headliner, running all the way across. I don't know if that was done after or if that was done at the factory. So it's actually kind of ripping the paper up. So I'm gonna try to see if I can cut it off or what, but that seems to be the only thing holding it up over there. So after multiple attempts, seems like it will not come out of the car. I mean, I could try to bend it in a few different places, but it's just not gonna come out. So my plan is I'm actually gonna attempt to put the starlights in the headliner in the car. It's gonna be very difficult, I feel like, trying to get all like, I think I have 300 strands in and around the whole car, but I mean, I don't see another option because I don't really wanna bend it to get out of the car. So we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna get the kit. Figure out how I'm gonna plan this out and I'll let y'all know what I do. Okay, it's a few hours later. Um, here's the kit I have. Now the kit I have is different than the kit you might be able to get because I bought this I think two years ago so they don't sell this exact version. But the brand is Chinley, I guess. Uh, here's the what they call the light engine. So there's the LED thing. Here's the wiring. It's just a uh, 12 volt to like that DC in there. They actually included, which is kind of interesting, a bag of uh, little drill bits with the sizes on them that tell you what's for what, that kind of thing. Uh, I don't usually use the drill bits. Uh, and then obviously the remote. Um, Here are the fibers. I put them aside so they don't get tangled up. Um, so now it's time to start mapping this out, seeing what's going to go where. So before I even start mapping out where they're going to go and stuff like that, I'm going to map up the route of which I'm going to run the fabric off the chunk. So real quick, I feel like the best route is down, down there into the C pillar and then out into the trunk. Um, show what that looks like real quick. So here is the water release pipe and that you can see comes right, right through that hole there. 
and right through there, I'm gonna bring the optic fibers right through here and then into the trunk space. So there's that water pipe right there. And as you can see, it exits right there. There's just enough room there. Real quick though, when you run your fibers, you gotta be careful of these airbags. You do not want to interfere with the airbags. So when I put the Starlights on here. I know the airbag sits right where this black tape is essentially. Uh, I'm not going to bring any fibers here. And when I do put them in this area, I'm going to tape them away. So there's no chance of them getting tangled up in there. So I did this on my old car, but when I did it on my old car, I had to highlighter out the car. And this time we can't do that in this situation. So I'm having to figure out things a little differently. Like usually you put the starlight wires on there and then figure out all that other kind of stuff. But for now, I have it routed exactly what I was talking about. So it comes right out of there. And there's the head down there through the trunk. Comes right out there. I'm going to map it out. I'm not going to secure it. Just going to map it out. Just going to map out how far it's going to be and all the distance I kind of need. And make sure that there's no interference with anything, especially the airbags. Show it like in the trunk. So that's where it's going up. Right there. Right through there. So it'll... I'll come back over here and put it into the speaker or something like that. Okay. I got a 300 strand kit. But that doesn't mean I got 300 strands. That means I either got a 305 or I got like 293 or something like that. So since this is going to be such a pain in the car having to figure out how I'm going to spread it. What I'm going to do first is count how many I have and put them in groups of four. So if I have like 300... I'm going to divide that by four so I have even distribution of everything. I mean, not 100% exact, whatever it is, whatever it's going to end up being. So first, I'm going to start putting them in segments of 60. Just put 60, tape it off to the side, 60, tape it off to the side, and so on and so forth. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I got, what do you call it? Electrical. I like to tape, just so I can tape up a little bunch right quick, put it to the side, see the lengths of everything. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So you know, when you're putting it into sections, this is my piece of tape. It's not going to go, it's going to split from here on in, in every direction. So I start here. So I have no tangles, right? So here's my first batch of 55, I think. Yeah, that one belongs there too. Okay. And then from here, I'm going to pick 55 more, but make sure they're all together, not like randomly so that it's all tangled after. So there you go. There's my 55. I continue counting this way. Okay, so real quick, this is called a test light. Right, I've taped up the wire away. Um, this has like a really, it probably won't focus on there, but it has a really sharp uh, point on it. And this is perfect to pierce through the paper cardboard layer of the headliner. So I go through that. I feel with the backside of my finger of when I feel it poking out. And then the optic fiber is actually strong enough just to pierce through the final layer of fabric. So here real quick. Uh, side view of the where the visor goes, the cardboard, and then another piece of cardboard and the fabric. So here's the two holes I have created. One's there, one's right there, and then obviously you want to lift the headliner up and take a look underneath. So there they are poking out. Pretty clean, I'd say. So that's gonna be what I do next four hundred freaking times. All right, so I think this is day three of me on this, but I only spend like two hours a day on it at most, two or three, whatever it is. But tonight I ain't got nothing to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to bang out the whole thing. Who knows how long it'll take, so we're gonna see. So here's where we're at. Okay, so real piece of advice is tape down little sections at a time. So it becomes easier to manage after because it's gonna end up being like way up here. So now I've got these little sections taped off. And then I'm going to now hot glue all these little holes I've created on just this portion of the headliner. I have a old school drill with a drill bit for this plastic. So as you can see, I drilled a bunch of holes in the plastic all along to my Sharpie mark. Um, and now it's time to hot glue those in. These have all been hot glued in already. Now it's time to do that one. I have a lot of the front and a little bit of that side handled. 
and this is what it looks like underneath so far so now I'm gonna go around with side cutters and trim them I'm not gonna go all the way flush just yet I want to do that all at the end when it's installed I just want to get all this out of the way because I when I was in there I was stepping on all these fibers and you don't want to do that and then pull the headline out so I got it propped up with a golf club I'm gonna go around and take a bunch of this crap right off well I am now sitting in the sunroof hole if you don't have a sunroof on your car I don't know how you gonna do this but so in the sunroof hole, I have all these marked out, um, and I'm gonna freaking <laughs> do that. So here we go. So I had to mark it up real quick just to make sure everything was coming along well. That's how it looks up top. Uh, it's on white right now, so it's an ominous, like weird glow from all the hot glue little bubbles. But underneath, of course, it's not cut yet. You can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. It's bright in the car. And I got the thing back here. Just sitting right there. You can see the light glowing. Uh, real quick. The whole pipe coming on the A-pillar as well. It's bright. So it's like uh, 11 p.m. Um, I was going to work a little later, but I'm cold. It's like 4 degrees maybe, 5 degrees. So it's freezing. I've had the heater on all night, but it's getting cold. Um, so I'm going to leave it like that. It was kind of a pain to be sitting in the sunroof area, all crowded, trying to get all the small ones in. I'll show you what I did. Just that little back area, that's what I did. I made sure I did it nicely with the uh, tape in every section there. These are all glued in and cut to, ready to go. Just like that. But I had to sit in this space and work tightly. Now, if you're not willing to get in this crowded space and stuff, I wouldn't recommend it. If you're not mechanically inclined, I wouldn't recommend it. But it's going to look absolutely insane, as they always do. Uh, and again, this is my second car I'm doing. But uh, it's a struggle. It's definitely a struggle. So I decided to rip all that foam off and do it again because I think it's going to be better in the long run. And I put insulation up there. So whatever this was doing, that does it better. So I'm gonna carry on just doing the whole back section of the car. So everything's been taped up real nice. And I'm trying to now get it back up in the car. Again, trusty old golf club. It's a weird finagle. It's proving to be just as difficult putting it up as it was pulling it down. But, um, I mean, we're getting it. So I think I'll be done in a few minutes here. I wanna make sure everything's tucked in right first as I'm putting the headliner up, but I might need a second hand. That's the problem. So the headliner is held in place by the door seals on both sides. The visor clips, I've inserted one there and one there. And then I popped that panel along with this panel back in. So that took a really long time, but it's, uh, it's up now. So now all that's required is reassembly of the car. And then the final step will be trimming the things, the little things off. Uh, I'm going to add a bunch of insulation while I have the car ripped up. So I'm going to do that first and then I'll catch back up when I'm putting it back together. So I thought I'd show the wiring. I just have this wire running from the back of where that is. It That's not installed, that's just chilling. And I'm gonna zip tie it to this power, going all the way around here, up through here, underneath the carpet, into the back of the center console. So the center console, you pop this piece off, the side piece. Same thing on the other side, pop that one off. There's two bolts here, two bolts on this side. The back cover comes off. Where is it at? That guy there. So that's there, comes off. Gives you accessibility to the cigarette lighter. And that's the connector here. So what I'm doing is splicing into here with my wire and I stagger the joints so they're not uh, bulbous or bulky in the tape. So that's how I'm installing the wiring. Well, there it is. All done. I just wanted to get this video out there. I'm not done putting the car back together. It's pretty, you know, straightforward. The exact reverse of what you did. Um, so it's all done. I'm going to take time. I'm going to do more modifications. I'm going to install a sound system. I'll probably be a separate video for that. 
um but yeah that's it for the starlight there they are then i'll make another video after this uh just like a car walk around and the full finished product will be in that so yeah uh stay tuned more coming on this